Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think this is? It's red, it's a powder. It has an earthy uh, smell to it. No, I'm not going to taste this one. <laughs> this one is uh, cayenne pepper. You know, good old cayenne pepper. And uh, does the body good. There's no doubt about that. It's been around for about 9,000 years. Started uh, down in Central and South America. And actually uh, dug the seeds out of caves that go back um, to 7,000 B.C. And it's been going on. For, the use has been going on forever, basically. It's really something. And they are really hot. <laughs> <laughs> they have a rating scale, and it was called a Scoville scale, anywhere from, oh, anywhere from 2,000 or less to up to 190,000, which is like ghost peppers or something like this. Um, cayenne pepper is somewhere between uh, 30,000 and uh, 50,000, and that's, that's pretty hot. Uh, and then jalapenos are only 22,500 to 5,000. So <laughs> that stuff is hot. There's no doubt about it. I, I do like spicy food. There's no doubt about that too. But, you know, there is a limit. <laughs> yeah. One thing about this stuff, it helps you to burn calories. And a study done in Canada showed that it increased uh, calorie consumption by 51% especially if you had a little bit of cayenne early in the morning and you kept burning calories all along. But you kind of adapt to it after you keep taking it for a while. It, your body kind of slows down and doesn't start, you know, keep burning those, those calories the way it did. It's a very good digestive aid and helps to provide more uh, actual gastric juices and juices in your, your mouth produce more saliva. <laughs> You're trying to put the flame out. <laughs> And it also it delivers more enzymes in your, your digestive tract and that type of thing. So it really is good for healing the digestive tract because it actually include, uh, it speeds up blood flow moving in that direction too. So great thing. Also, lots of antioxidants. Uh, get rid of, rid of free radicals and helping to get prevent disease in general because free radicals and lots of... Uh, you know, antioxidants help to scavenge up those free radicals, and that prevents that process of moving on to becoming inflammation. And we don't want that inflammation in our body. So if we can get rid of that using a little bit of cayenne pepper on a regular basis, you know, we use it quite often because I like spicy food. So a little pinch will do your body good. There's no doubt about it. Also helps with uh, psoriasis and helps with the scaling and the redness and you can use it in a cream and you can buy creams and put it on your hands and and your arms or wherever this psoriasis is and it's like 0.025 percent you can buy it in just about everywhere and uh, that'll help your psoriasis also great for bad breath because it kills the microbes that cause bad breath so that's another great thing that it does it also helps with uh all kinds of different things as far as migraines go, and because it helps to get rid of the substance P inside the body, which is the agent which allows us to feel pain in the first place. So it depletes that inside the nerves, and all of a sudden you don't have the pain. So that's an amazing thing. Great for getting rid of migraines and, in general, tension headaches also. Great for coughs, it helps to loosen, loosen up that phlegm and uh, the congestion so you can move it out of your system. So that means it's also great for colds and flus and so you can, you know, start to feel better because you're moving that out. It also warms you up. You never bring cold when you hear shivering when you have a cold or flu. This will warm you up also. Also increases your body temperature, especially if you're cold. If you're one of those people who's, you know, it's 110 degrees outside and you're wearing a sweater. <laughs> you know, it's really good for you. You can help to pick up your temperature inside and a little bit of cayenne every day. All opens up your blood vessels also and helps your capillaries to move blood throughout your whole body. So that's a really great thing.
helps to regulate blood sugar, so that's a really good thing. You know, if you're a diabetic, a little bit of cayenne pepper is a great thing to help yourself actually use the insulin that you have in a better way. So that's a really great thing, too. Also, it boosts up your immune system and because it has so many antioxidants in it. And that's a powerful thing, too, getting more K cells out there and T cells and all these different things. Also lowers blood pressure. And research at the U.S. National Library of Medicine shows that uh, the caspicams cam, <laughs> in blood uh, pressure actually lowers blood pressure in a great way. So that's really great. Also, there's other studies showing it actually allowed more blood flow in pig's ears so that they can actually see more blood moving through when you actually use a topical or an, or an adjustable agent with, with pigs. Clears up congestion, as I said, helps with headaches. Also produces more saliva. So if you're one of these people who have dry mouth all the time, a little bit of, you know, cayenne pepper can help you produce more saliva. Great for heart health. Helps to reduce atherosclerosis and prevent the fibrotic buildup in the heart vessels, which is important. And also prevent heart clots, which are, you know, in those coronary arteries, which is important too, and prevent the heart attack in general. That's really important for men and women. Uh, actually, women are having more heart disease now than ever before. Uh, also, this good old cayenne pepper actually increases your lifespan about 14%. So they found that people who eat, you know, these type of spicy agents live 14% longer. Got to get those spices into your body. Also, if you rub a little bit of this on your gums when you have a toothache, you don't have that pain there. It gets rid of that uh, substance P, which is the pain-producing. It tells your brain, if you've got pain here, well, it gets rid of that. And so it helps with the uh, toothache pain also. Helps with irritations in general in the same way in the whole body. And also helps with diarrhea. <clears throat> and it gets rid of redness because it's an anti-inflammatory. So you would think, you know, something that's hot would be an inflammatory agent. But it's not. It's actually an anti-inflammatory because it has so many antioxidants in it. So that's a great thing. Kills a lots of microbes. Also found the... It kills lots of different types of bacteria and about 16 different fungal agents, including candida. So if you have candida, this is another thing to think about, that it would help for your candida. And a lot of people don't like spicy food. I, I can understand that. Yeah, but at the same time, a little bit of spice goes a long ways. And, you know, having that chili once in a while or having something, you know, a salsa or something with a little bit of cayenne in it, it's, it's a great thing. Also great for pain, the caspicums and the uh, in areas of the of the pain. If you have a muscle ache in your elbow, you can buy the creams, or you can get the you know the pads that are saturated with uh, the caspicums also, and uh, the plasters, and those work really well. And I've used those over time in my lifetime before I started my diet, in which I don't have any pains anymore. I don't use any of that kind of stuff. And good for detoxing. You know, cayenne pepper is great for uh, moving the lymphatic system. And there's not a whole lot that does that. You know what I mean? It's just really good for moving the lymphatics and uh, getting our digestion and our whole digestive tract moving at the same time. And it produces sweating. And one of our biggest uh, detoxing organs is our skin. So it's really good to get that, uh, all those toxins out of your body. Also, if you want to detox a little bit, you can put together some lemon and uh, cayenne tea, basically. It's lemon juice with honey and uh, cayenne and mix that up a little bit like uh, a little. Or you could use maple syrup also. That would work if you wanted to. And also stevia if you wanted to. And drink that about six times a day and you'll detox your body. It's really a great process. No more than about seven to ten days with that though. Also great for uh, joint pain, as I said, and the occasional pain in any area of your body. 
Great for uh, reducing clots in the heart, as I said before. Helps with leg cramps. If you have leg cramps on a regular basis, you want to try a little bit of cayenne pepper, and that will help with leg cramps also. Great for the, the stomach. You would think it would be the opposite for the stomach, but actually it brings in a lot more uh, blood flow to the area and heals the stomach, unless you have terrible uh, gastric ulcers or something like that. I wouldn't recommend it then. I also don't recommend it for kidney disease and uh, ulcerative colitis and terrible things like that. In fact, I know a family member who had terrible kidney, excuse me, not kidney disease, uh, uh, colitis, and he would not let go of the hot peppers in general. I mean, I would see him at uh, when we went out to dinner <laughs> I've been pouring out the hot sauce. I was going, oh, this is not good. <laughs> and even his doctor told him, lay off the hot sauce. <laughs> you know, if you have some condition like that going on, you, you got to keep in the middle road, you know. <laughs> uh, also improves circulation, as I said, and it lowers cholesterol. So if you have a high LDL cholesterol, you want to bring that cholesterol down so that you can, uh, you know, not die of a heart attack. That's a good thing. And also, like I said, it helps to improve weight loss. And the study in Canada, as I said, 51%. But it does go down because your body adapts to it after a while. People love the taste. I'm telling you, people love hot things. It seems like more and more people are eating mega hot things. And I don't agree with that really because it's really, uh, you can kill off the taste buds on your tongue actually too. <laughs> and you can do damage to your uh, large intestine and small intestine if you take really, really hot things like ghost peppers and things like that. So I don't recommend that. Just keep it a little, a pinch goes a long way. Just take my word for it. <laughs> Also, a cayenne pepper has a great amount of vitamin A and antioxidant, vitamin C, uh, B6 vitamin, uh, vitamin E, which is also helps with cholesterol and fighting free radicals. It helps the skin, uh, for great looking skin, balancing hormones and repair the hair and skin, and uh, improves vision, increases uh, energy levels in general. Like I said, it's a great anti-inflammatory and also helps with allergies because of that. And uh, also helps with leaky gut disease, which is very interesting. I didn't think it would do that, but it actually does in a mild, when you have a mild form of leaky gut disease. Uh, unclog your stuffy nose. Have you ever seen some of these cough drops and things? A lot of times they put cayenne pepper in it. It also reduces your hunger. If you eat something with spicy uh, ingredients in it, you just don't feel as hungry afterwards. And that's really interesting too. Also, like I said, it lowers your blood sugar, it helps with the joint pain, and it comes in all kinds of different forms. You can get it in a powder like this, which is uh, very inexpensive. You can buy it at your grocery store, or supermarket. You can get it on Amazon and eBay. Uh, you can, uh, even some places will sell it depending upon how hot it is too. <laughs> and the average dose is about a half a teaspoon or a quarter a teaspoon or less, or 500 milligrams daily. And that will do your body good. There's no doubt about it. And finding it, like I said, just about everywhere. And it's inexpensive, very inexpensive. It also helps to fight, with, fight against cancer, a study at the University of California in L.A. showed that it did a good job of killing cancer cells and preventing the growth of cancer tumors. And also it does a great job with lung cancer and preventing lung cancer in, in smokers. So if you're one of those people who smokes, you might want to take, you know, a lot of good old cayenne pepper in, in moderation. <laughs> Side effects, you know, if you have stomach problems, it's probably a good idea to lay off these. Uh, if you're taking blood thinners, it does thin your blood also. And it lowers your blood pressure. So if you're taking uh, any kind of blood pressure medication, you might want to take that into account. And I also, like I said, don't recommend it for anybody who has ulcers or kidney disease or 
bowel disease or inflammation in their body that might interact with this. You know, if you have urethritis, boy, or if you have hemorrhoids, you may not want to take it. <laughs> and also, it's not good for those who are pregnant, nursing, or small children. So think about some using some cayenne pepper in your life, and it will light up your life. <laughs> it will do your body good. But remember to use everything in moderation. You know what I mean? Don't do some harm to your body by taking a lot of lots and lots of very spicy things. It's not good. It will do harm to the villi in your GI tract, and uh, and you can burn those off, and it even cause the lining of your gut to disappear, so you end up with autoimmune disease. So keep it within reason, you know. <laughs> Everything in moderation, as I say. If you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. My email is drpaulhater at gmail.com. That's drpaulhater. That's H d-r-p-a-u-l-h-a-i-d-e-r at gmail.com. My Skype address is dr. Paul Hader. And you can find me on Facebook under dr. Paul Hader also. You can message me there. You can text me. You can WhatsApp me. You can get me, hold of me in all kinds of different ways. My consultations are uh, at no charge. Uh, I really appreciate your donation so I can keep doing research to help now, everyone, as much as possible, that makes a big difference uh, for keeping this going. I put in lots and lots and hours of uh, researching different things for different peoples and appreciate those donations in a great way. And that, you can do that on my website also. There's a link down below if you hit show more. And uh, if you watch the little ads, we get a couple cents from AdSense to come to us from Google, and I appreciate that too. So if you would like to get a hold of me, feel free. But remember one very super important thing. I love you.